Today we finally get the tournament items for our first major of the year. Just like other majors, we have the viewer pass, team stickers, player signatures, well, they'll be coming soon, and also team patches, which I'll go more into soon. But just before that, I'm back with Skin Baron. Are you looking to freshen up your inventory with new skins? Skin Baron's marketplace is the go-to for buying and selling skins. They are well respected by the CSGO community and have been around for a long time. They offer an intuitive market to make selling skins really easy, but also browsing the different options. You can find all the 91 new skins inside all the categories. Go Go check out Skin Baron through the link below. The Major is the biggest and most prestigious tournament for the game. 24 teams during this event will compete against each other to become Major Champions. As usual, 50% of the proceeds from Major items goes directly to support these players and teams, but it all starts with the Viewer Pass. To enjoy most of the activities of the Major, you'll need to buy one and activate it. When activated, you'll get a Stockholm 2021 event coin, unlimited team graffitis, exclusive access to the new Stockholm 2021 souvenir packages, which is always a big deal for a lot of people, Steam team flares, which is less of a big deal for a lot of people, but the biggest reason for getting the viewer pass, in my opinion, is to be part of the Pick'ems. More on that soon. The Stockholm 2021 event coin looks like this. Everyone starts with bronze, then work their way up to get the final boss, diamond, depending on how well you do in the pickems. For each time you upgrade your coin, you'll get a free token. The tokens can be used to purchase souvenir packages. Packages have skins worth real money, so if you buy the viewer pass and you get the diamond coin, you could sell a total of three packages. You can also buy the viewer pass plus three tokens additions if you like to cheat. And even worse, it's possible to just buy tokens directly. To get a souvenir package once you got the tokens, simply choose a match during the major that has the souvenir package you're looking for. They are based off the map played, so be very careful which match you pick. Now on to the pickems. For anyone new, the pickems is basically betting on which team to win, made for kids, and the objective is to reach diamond. To know your progress, look at these challenges and just try to complete them all. So in the first challenge, we simply need to put nine teams for the first stage of the major, also known as the challengers stage. None of the teams that you put in these slots need to win, you just need to put nine in here. And that's the challenge completed. But the next challenge, however, is getting at least five of your predictions correct, as it says here. And that's pretty much the pickems. Really important, make sure you lock your predictions before the challenger stage has begun. If you don't, it won't count your pickems and you will instantly lose the challenge. Down here, it also says how much time you have left before you need to lock your predictions to help you, well, not miss it. I'm gonna save my pickems for a dedicated video coming soon. Apart from all this, patches now have a new meaning since we got team patches. This means that you can rep your favorite team by putting the patch or patches onto an agent. This is one of the coolest new items for the major. But something else has also changed. In previous majors, we had player signatures for all three stages of the major, but this time we don't. Player signatures will only be given to the teams reaching the final stage of the major, which is known as the playoffs. Lazy Valve. And as usual, we have team stickers for all 24 teams. Slap a like to show your support, subscribe if you like my content, and I'll see you guys soon in a pick'em video. Stay awesome and go bananas.